So step 14, editing an image in Microsoft Picture Manager. Okay, so sometimes you're going to be asked to just edit some pictures before you even put them into your web page and front page, which means that you're not going to be editing them in front page, you've got to edit them beforehand. So the only way you can edit images beforehand is to use Microsoft Picture Manager. They say open the file specimen file the JPEG in a suitable application, so we're going to be using Microsoft Picture Manager. Change the width to 40 pixels and its height to 60 pixels. Ensure that the color depth is 256 colors, which is an 8-bit color. And save the file as specimen5.gif. Okay, so in the list of files that we have, we're going to look for specimen5.jpg, which is this one here, jpeg, specimen5. We're going to right-click on it. We're going to select it first, and then right-click, open with, and picture manager. Microsoft Office Picture Manager. So they say that we have to change the width of the image to 40 pixels and the height to 60. So what we're going to do with this picture, we're going to edit it. So I'm going to say edit pictures. And since we're changing the height and the width, it's resizing the picture. So I'm going to resize. And I'm going to make it a custom width and a custom height because they've given us the heights and the width to make it to. So the width is 40. Okay, so the width is 40, so type 40 for the custom width, and the height is 60, so we'll make the height 60. I'm just going to say okay, and it's changed it, and now ensure that the color depth is 256 colors, 8-bit color. So this bullet and this bullet are kind of the same. When you save an image as a GIF file, you are making the color depth 256 colors, or 8-bit. So, to save it as a GIF, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this arrow here, Export, and you're going to change the file format that you're going to export it into, to GIF. And you can keep the name over here if you want specimen 5, or you can change it, it's up to you. Mine might exist already, so it might ask me if I want to overwrite it. So I'm just going to say OK. So it already exists for me, so I'm just going to say replace. And it, it has exported this image. So if you go to the list of files that you have, you would then probably find another specimen 5, unless you've renamed it, as a GIF file. So that GIF file will then be a file that has 256 colors. Next one, open the file specimen 6.jpg um, in a suitable application. Crop the plant out of the bottom of the image and save the file as jpg, as specimen 6.jpg, sorry, replace the original file. So hopefully in the list of files over here, so I've still got the original, so I'm going to right click on it, open with, Office Picture Manager. We're going to go crop out what they state us to crop out. So we're going to crop the plant pot out of the bottom of the image. So like before, we're going to edit this picture. So edit pictures. We're going to crop. And this I can just do by eye. So I'm going to crop the pot out of the image. And then just say OK. And we're going to re-save this file. So they say save the file as specimen6.jpg, replacing the original. So to do this, I'm just going to exit this part here. So it's cropped off. I'm just going to go File, Save As. It's going to go to the folder where all those files are already. So I'm going to keep the name the same. And we're going to overwrite the original. So I'm just going to click on Save. And say yes to replace it and that's it so that is how to crop and how to resave it so in this video basically what we saw was how to resize an image to different height and width we saw how to change the color depth by just saving it, it as a .gif file and we just seen how to crop a part or crop out um, something out of an image 
and you're just going to save it as the same file format. Let me know if you have any questions.